Agadez in Niger, a Sahara desert town that was long a hub for African migrants heading north to Libya and Algeria and onwards to Europe. But in 2015, at the height of a migrant crisis, the European Union struck an aid deal worth more than $1 billion with Niger tied to a government crackdown on migration. To build its border capacity and to draft this new law that would uh, criminalize irregular migration and its facilitation, so the, the, the worker smugglers basically. Some 876 suspected people traffickers were prosecuted under the law, according to the EU. But in July this year, Niger's military ousted the democratically elected president Mohamed Bazoum in a coup. The military junta leader, General Abdurrahman Chiani, announced in November that the government was repealing the 2015 migrant law and all convictions under the legislation would be quashed. The junta did not give a reason for the move. The European Union voiced fears of a new influx of migrants. There is a huge risk that this will cause a new uh, deaths in the desert. That's the most concerning thing, but that will also probably mean more people coming to Libya, for example, and then maybe also trying to, to cross the Mediterranean to the, to the EU. Critics say the law itself forced migrant journeys to divert to more dangerous routes through the Sahara Desert. Local media report that the repeal of the law has been welcomed in Agadez and that migrant traffickers are planning to resume operations. Analysts say its implementation had devastated the local economy. A number of people simply went out of a job in the region. So smugglers, of course, people who were facilitating the, the travel and the, and, the, and the journey of migrants, but also a bunch of people who benefited directly or indirectly from the presence of migrants. So these are people who were preparing and selling food, people who were selling water, offering accommodation, or any other kind of service to, to migrants. Before the law's implementation, the Nigerian army had often accompanied migrant convoys through the desert and demanded their own cut from the profits, says Fakri. There might be um, an objective to return to the pre-2015 situation where uh, migrant smuggling created revenues for um, the military and for the state. Analysts say it's not clear how quickly the migrant flows could resume, as it depends on the situation in the migrants' countries of origin and in the transit countries north of Niger. The European Union has struck deals with some North African states to clamp down on irregular migration across the Mediterranean Sea. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London.